it's time for yet another Guinness competitor, but this one is just a little different. Hello and welcome back to the channel and yes, today I'm taking a look at this. It is from Camden Town Brewery. It's called Stout Smooth, not Smooth Stout, which is a bit odd, but it's really just Camden Stout if we're getting into the pernickety bits. It is a 4% nitrogen infused stout, which, well, I'll be honest, sounds an awful lot like a Guinness. Now, of course, I've covered loads of different Guinness alternatives on this channel in the last year or so. Most of them have been to my taste. I like a stout, whether it's a big, proper, rich, indulgent job or a nitro stout, more kind of aimed at, well, middle of the road drinking. But in any event, I genuinely rather enjoy them regardless. This one, though, I've been avoiding for a little while because, well, Camden Town is one of those quintessential craft brewers that's now owned by a massive multinational and in this case AB InBev it doesn't really get any bigger than that. Now of course that doesn't mean that the beer is intrinsically going to be bad but it doesn't fill me with hope that it's going to be particularly great either. Remember Goose Island are owned by AB InBev and their Bourbon County Stout is sublime so it's not definitely guaranteed to be poor but I'll be honest, I'm not that mad on the rest of the Camden range, so I don't see this going in, yeah, in its favour either. But on the flip side, because they're owned by AB and Bev and they've got lots of money available and they ship it all over the place, it does mean they've managed to put a nitrogen infused widget into the can like the Guinness draft cans. We've not seen that so far, at least in the ones that I have reviewed, I think in any others except for maybe the O'Hara's. But for the majority, Guinness alternatives don't get the little widget that Guinness gets because, frankly, it's probably quite expensive and faffy to do unless you're doing it on a large scale, which, of course, these guys will be. So just before we break into it, a quick look at the can. I mean, it's very Camden Town, so Camden Stout Smooth, Camden Town logo on the bottom there. Quite plain, kind of, they've shied away from the black and gold, which is interesting. I thought they might go the same way as everyone else did, which is basically copying Guinness. Loads of info on the back there, and that little charty thing, can you see that? It says, Stout is fresh news, apparently. Um, I think they're still trying to get around to people that, look, Stout doesn't have to be the thing that your dad or your granddad drank. It can be new and interesting. Me, personally, I've always enjoyed it, so I don't really care. But I think it probably has had a bit of a reputation. At least that certainly felt like the case where craft beer meets just kind of trendy hype anyway and well when we say that we know that we're really talking about Camden, Brewdog, Beaver Town, the well, let's be honest less authentic craft brewers but hey we'll soon see and we're going to do the sacrilege as we have before and pour it into a Guinness glass so we can see exactly how it looks. Now for the aggressive pour straight in a little angle just to let the Beer flow out as fast as you can. Let's see. Let's get it down onto the table and see what this. Hopefully, nice little ripple through the black stuff actually looks like. Right then, I've got to say. And I'll, I'll turn the Guinness logo away so we're not too distracted. I mean, there's still a massive harp on the back of it, but you can't see it quite as much. It looks good. Nice, proper, big, thick, foamy head on it. You get the same thing out of a Guinness glass. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to like this, right? Because it's Camden and I want to say they're not as good as the small independents because in general that is the case. But visually, that's a bit of a stunner. That is one of the best looking... Guinness alternatives I think we've seen so far it's definitely better than the Brewdog one um, and Spatch and Hop Day got close but yeah this I mean just look at the look at it on the top can you see can you can you see it yet can you tell what it is yet but yeah it's really um, very smooth not loads of bubbles in it looks absolutely glorious if I'm totally honest with you uh, right then aromas I'll be honest in an eyes closed don't know what I'm drinking test. 
roasty, mineral heavy, bit of metallic flair. I would have thought that was Guinness. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's it's got all the hallmarks because of that big, thick, foamy top to it. Plus the fact that nitrogen actually diminishes the aromas in beer anyway. There's not a huge amount to talk about, but what is there? It feels like the benchmark, the Guinness. It's yeah, it's nice enough. There's no off tone, so tentatively, I could have been a fool with this one, but we'll soon find out. Cheers. Hmm, I'm not really sure. Okay, it isn't absolutely terrible, but it feels like they've actually tried to copy Guinness. It's kind of close, but everything's just slightly out of proportion. Like, it must be incredibly hard to try and replicate something like Guinness to the T. And, well, yeah, it feels like what they've tried to do and it's not quite worked. Right then, top to bottom taste test time so you can understand exactly what I mean and what I'm talking about. So right on the tip of the tongue. Quite soft, mellow, bit of sweetness, little bit of kind of like lightly roasted coffee bean. It's nice enough. You do realize though straight away, despite how good and lush and thick the head looks, it's it's watery. Like it's real thin. It's it's yeah. Properly, properly feels watered down somehow it's um interestingly they do list the ingredients we'll go into those in a minute because that might be a bit of a clue but mid palette a little bit of vanilla sweetness a little bit more roast coffee again it's not getting too dark roast so it's still pretty chill a few mineral notes but they're not as shall we say edgy as they can be in some stouts it's much more it feels like soft water it's really just yeah i don't know a bit soft it's all a bit soft and easy and watery and yeah anyway then over the uh, back of the tongue all the flavors continue it's pretty one-dimensional it's a bit of roasty coffee with a bit of vanilla and a few mineral spritzy bits here and there on the back of the tongue the bitterness ramps up but none of the flavor does which leaves you with this like well to be honest it's just a bit jarring like you would expect that with extra bitterness comes more flavor and more like like you're going through different particular well, flavor notes and you know it matches up with something but this it just the bitterness boosts it's still not massively bitter but it's more bitter than any of the flavorfulness and that as a result well just doesn't come across particularly well on to the aftertaste then and the aftertaste incidentally is where you go this really does kind of taste like Guinness, but it tastes a little bit like Guinness that's been left out for an hour. Like, you know when just beer starts to go a little bit stale? That's, you know, kind of, it's diminished tones, it's more of the bad stuff, less of the good stuff, and it's just, it's not horrible, it's not really, really bad, but it's just not very impressive at all. Like, there's nothing really for me to latch onto and go, you know what, that thing, that is beautiful, it's not, there's none of that. To be honest, it's just a few subtle flavors with a few narky and sharp bits along with it for good measure, which just stops it being, yeah, properly, properly enjoyable. Quick look onto the back of the can here. It says that uh, it's okay to be big headed, especially when it comes to stout. We use nitrogen bubbles to give our smooth stout its thick creamy head and fresh finish. Packed full of character, this is our fresh take on the classic style. So in the spirit of being big headed, we think it's the finest stout in the land. Not tried many stouts is all I can say. Um, and then the ingredients list. So interestingly, it does give us the malts, yeast, and hops, and I'll put it up for you there on screen in case you wanted to uh, take a look for yourself. But they are uh, Pilsner malt, uh, roast barley malt, chocolate, and cara malt. So um, that's pretty normal, I think, for a stout, but I think maybe there's a bit too much Pilsner malt in there and it's kind of thinning everything out just a bit too much. Um, the hops are Idaho, Pacific, and Challenger, which are fine it's not a hoppy beer so it's not really a lot to talk about there i feel like possibly that idaho is giving um a bit of extra bitterness without much flavor which is what i was kind of complaining about earlier but hey it is a not terrible beer from a not entirely terrible but generally quite disappointing brewery and the beer is the same it's it's okay i've got a few of these because they didn't sell them singularly and you know what i probably will drink them it's not that bad but if i walked into somewhere and i was like 
I really want a nice proper stout, I'm not going to pick this. Like it's not, it's not there. It's just acceptable. It's. I'll be honest. This is just another beverage that's kind of been simplified and dulled down to appeal to a larger number of people. The people that, you know, go out and drinking this because for some reason apparently it's cool now. I don't know. I like it anyway. But, you know, it it, it is a bit of a trendy thing now at this point in time. So that's probably why it's been bought out and. To be honest, to those people who just kind of like it, it might appeal even more because I think some of the flavour has been stripped out compared to Guinness, but yeah, I'm struggling to really hold on to it and go, yes, there's something good here, because to be honest, it's just it's just a bit watery. It's not bad, but it's there's just nothing really good about it either. Have you tried the Camden Town Stout yet? Let me know in the comments below. What did you think? Did you prefer it to Guinness or not? My impression is definitely not. I've definitely had worse pints of Guinness than this tasted right now, but on the whole, an average Guinness, yeah, I think is better than this. But I might be in the minority, so please let me know in the comments, please. But that really is all I've got to say about it. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it if you haven't already subscribed, if you'll be so kind, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.